Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to use a laser tuning tool. Um, it works to the same reference as the center shot gauge that you've seen me use before, but I've been asked to show you guys how to use this tool um, the correct way. There's a lot of people out there who just do reviews and stuff like that about them, but I'm going to show you guys how to use them properly in order to get the maximum potential that this tool has to offer. Um, the one we're showing you today is from OMP, Outdoor Mountain Products, or October Mountain Products. Um, it's pretty nice. It's, it's one of the fancier laser tools that are out there. There's a couple of versions out there. Um, this one here uh, has a level built in on top of it. It's uh, got no tool adjustments, so you don't have to have an Allen wrench or anything to actually put it on the bow. Um, it's, got, uh, it, it's got a pivoting head. It's all metal construction. And the great thing about it is, is it comes with batteries. And uh, it's also a, a tool that we sell on the Bow Tuning Tips website. There's a link at the bottom of this video, and there's one in the description that'll take you over, and you can check out this tool. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to show you guys how to uh, put it on the bow. Um, a lot of the times, you've seen these things that where you'll have to take your sights off the bow, and uh, if you don't, they get in the way, because you see this is supposed to go on the front of it. It's, that's what a lot of people show you. I'll show you a trick that really... <laughs> It's sort of kind of simple, but you're gonna you're gonna dig it. Um, so what what you do is is you don't have to worry about taking your sights off. The quiver holes where your quiver mounts on your quiver bracket are the same exact distance apart as the riser holes. Um, so all you have to do is screw it into there. And instead of having it going forward on the bow, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back here behind the sights, and that way it's in between your uh, your cables and your riser and it's directly over the top of the arrow rest almost perfectly. And that's going to be key because, you know, everything kind of pivots off this arrow rest, and I think it's a good thing that you have your laser tuner pivot off of it as well. The threaded holes on the uh, sight are going to be for your quiver bracket. All you have to do is turn, tighten in your little bolts here, and it's got these nice little thumb bolts, like little wing nuts. You can just uh, zip them right in there, man, and you don't have to tighten them down very tight. You're not wanting to... Uh, you know, leave this thing on there. You want it to be snug and flush bottomed out and they're tapered so it centers everything up. Now we have it all mounted onto the bow. The laser tuner is mounted on. And you'll notice that the laser itself is directly over the top of the arrow rest. I think it's key because the fact that your arrow rest is the pivoting point, like I said a second ago, and everything is lined up off of that. So you get dead lined up on that and you're going to be able to go from there. Now, um, you should already have your knock height set, you know, use the levels, get that set. Um, so you should have that done already. If not, you can do that first. But we're going to go ahead and drop the arrow in there. All right, what I've done is I've dimmed the lights a little bit so we can see what's going on. Um, this laser head, the part that has the head on it, the laser beam that comes out of it, actually pivots freely. Okay? And it's got a little level on top, as you can see. What you want to do is get that thing in your bow vise and get that level leveled out right between the, the the bubbles right there. You want your bubble between the lines just like I got it. Make sure your bow vise isn't going to move. Lock it down. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to line up the laser itself. And you can see it back here on the string. What you want is you want it to be split evenly. Okay, I always hold my hand up. And what you can see I'm getting a lot of a dot on one side. You want to a, a loosen up your little thumb bolt here, and you're going to turn this over. And this head a, a pivot, so you can hold it while you're doing this and keep it in one spot. Okay, so it's not like spinning around in circles. Okay, you want to move it. So you go the other way. I'm going to be going out like this until you can see it more and more on the string. Okay, now let's check it. I mean, I went a little too far. I'm check it a little bit there, and I'm not getting any bleed over at all. It's right on my D-loop knot. You can see, so that thing is lined directly up, okay? I mean, it's perfect. I'm looking at it in the camera. You couldn't get any more perfect, okay? So then you want to snug down your little thumb nut here. What that's doing is, is that's keeping the laser in line. It's going to be perfectly in line. Now, everything should line up off of this string, like we've talked about before using the center shot gauge, okay? And then when you turn this across, it's going to go down your arrow shaft, okay? At no point should you see it veer off of your arrow shaft. Now, before we go real far, I want to tell you, this is just a starting point, 
Okay, you can line this all up with this laser beam, and then you're going to probably have to make some adjustments um, later on when you start shooting the bow and broadhead tuning and so on. But this is going to get everything lined up. You may be one of those guys who's so rock solid that when you touch that trigger, nothing moves and you're, you're, you're going to be golden. So tuning it like this is going to be really good right off the bench. All right, this is a different angle from the back. Um, I want to show you guys this laser. You can see it as it comes down and it hits my D-loop. It's right there. It's on the D-loop. Okay, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go forward. And you can see it going right down the arrow shaft right there. You can see it going, 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 going. It'll go all the way down the arrow shaft. And it, it could come off out there at the end. Mine does, but I think it's because of just the way, you know, my shooting style. You know, I've probably got a little torque or something going on. Well, after it goes out there to the end, then you're going to see it come up. Now watch the fiber optics. See the fiber optics blinking because that laser is hitting them on the end. And uh, that shows my sights are dead in line with my string, which is exactly what I want it to be. Um, you can see that little tool is pretty bright. You can watch it as it's going up my string. I mean, everything's precisely in line. And then when you get up here, I'm going to freehand this, so excuse the uh, shakiness. But as you get up to the top of the cam, you're going to see we got the cam here, got the laser coming up. It's going to be splitting the cam. I mean, right there, it's hitting the bottom of the cam. Okay. Such a hard thing to video. <laughs> but uh, you can see it, boom, it's going right across the bottom of the cam. It's splitting down the whole bow. And there again, back to the fiber optics. You can actually see it when it's doing this. It's actually, it looks like a Christmas light. Do, 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 do. There you go. So it goes all the way down, back down the air shaft. So it's making a 360 degree trip around the bow and it's showing your alignment. Now you may have troubles like I did with doing the bottom cam. Um, because of the fact that I've got right here at the bottom, you have to take the arrow off in order to do the bottom cam. I'll pop that off, and if I shine it straight down, you'll see that what's happening is it's hitting on my string suppressor arm that comes out. So if you want to, if you want to line that bottom cam up, cam up and check that, you're going to have to take that off. Um, I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to leave it on there because I plan on shooting this bow <laughs> here soon. So you can see though that it's you know how accurate that is and how it goes right at the grip. Now it's pretty neat to see all the alignment. When you start looking at it like this, I think it's going to really open up a lot of stuff for you. It's going to show you, you know, how everything should should line up center-wise. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you use the OMP True Center Laser. Um, like I said before at the beginning of this video, it's got toolless adjustments, so you have these wing nuts that you can use. Um, to, to uh, loosen and tighten up the, the moving parts on it. It's got a pivoting 360 degree head. It's got a level built in the top of it. Um, and the beautiful thing about it is it's left handed or right handed. You can flip it around on either one of the either sides of the bows and it'll work. Um, the great thing <laughs> that I like the most is it comes with batteries. I've had some of them that we've sold before and that we've you know we've used at the shop that didn't have batteries and then they weird they have some weird battery that's for like some kind of camera you have to you have to special order or some crazy nonsense. You know, and then when you get it it's twenty bucks. I don't know, I don't dig that. So you know this one's just a whole lot more user friendly and it works great. So well there you go guys. If you're interested in picking up one of these tools or you want to see some close up pictures of it, uh follow the link at the bottom of this video and the one in the description and it'll take you there. And uh, we got it for sale over there at the Bow Tuning Tips website. Until then, you guys be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to be uh, shooting laser beams.